Okay, we're going to try this one more time. Uh, this is going to be my oil pastel project video for you guys. Uh, most of you have already done this. This will be your second time through, so I'm expecting some really nice work from you. What you need is a piece of the big paper from the cupboard closest to the cutter on the top shelf. Get two people in class, just two of you, to get enough paper for everybody. Take the paper, fold it in half like so. Now, I started this video once already and I realized I didn't make my lines dark enough. So, I'm going to zoom in at this point so you can see this a little better. And I'm going to make my lines. Now, these lines don't have to be anything special. They could be random. Now, I'm making them very dark. You are probably not going to want to make them this dark because the graphite from your pencil can blend into your colors. So you guys draw your lines a lot lighter than I'm drawing mine. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shapes. You can have seven or eight, that should be fine. Should kind of look like a lava lamp. Now what you need is a piece of paper towel, which I have right here. And I need some oil pastels, and I got a cup full of oil pastels of different colors. And I'm going to start with my lightest color first, which is either going to be yellow or it's going to be pink. And I'm going to start with pink. And I'm going to take the color. Now it's going to have extra colors on it. You can see some red on the tip of this one, so I'm going to clean that off before I color. And then I'm going to start over right here, and I'm just going to color out toward the middle of this shape. You kind of want to fill in the spaces. You don't want a lot of gaps. It's going to look a little a little bit um, choppy at first. Just go back over it a couple times. I'm going to put my pink way out here. Okay. Then I'm going to take my red. Now, if they got paper on them, you can always take the paper and peel them back. I'm going to do that with this, just like so. Give me a little red to work with. And if you can see this, it's got a little bit of black on it. So, again, I want to clean it before I use it. So, I'm in here cleaning it. So, I should have some red on my paper like that. And then I'm going to add red, because red and pink blend together very well. Right in here. Now, you see this speckly look that you get, like right in here? You want to go back over that and kind of get rid of it. You don't have to press super hard, but you do want enough color on there to blend. And you'll have some speckles, but you don't want a whole bunch. So it wants to be kind of more even. Now, I want to get my red to blend with my pink. So then I go back, grab my pink again, just to get in the habit. I'm going to clean it. I clean every time I use. Then I'm going to take my pink and red, and right where they blend together, I'm going to rub them in. Get them to blend even more. So this is what we have. Now if you get a big splotch of red like I have right there, you can take your finger now and just clean it right out of there. Like so. And clean your pink again. Go back in and even up your color. It's like it never even had a problem. Now we're going to go from red to orange. Now as you can see my orange is really nasty looking. So I definitely want to color, color clean that before I go any further. So I rub it into there so I get a nice clean space on the tip. And then I add the orange. Now as you can tell Pink to red, red to orange works really well. Okay, now I'm going to get in here, watch my edges, be real careful of your edges. I don't want to keep it as neat and clean as you can. This is messy stuff, so it can get that way. Now, because orange is my lighter color, or lighter than red, I'm going to clean that, and then I'm going to go, oh, see that dirty spot? i got to get that again. Clean that again, and I'm going to go right over the top where the red and the orange 
come together. And I'm going to get them to blend in just like so. Really works out pretty nice. Now colors that don't blend well with reds, oranges, and pinks. Greens don't blend well, not at all. Yellows will blend pretty good, but greens do not blend well with these guys, okay? Now we're gonna go to yellow, which is one of my lighter colors. As you can see, I have a little piece of yellow, and this is not that brown yellow, you don't want that. Now there are only a few of these, so you're gonna have to share a little bit. I'm going to clean this up so I don't have any more colors on there. And I just get the yellow. Just like that. Okay? Now I'm going to add that here. Oh, see what happens when you do get a little bit of color in there? That's okay because we're going to blend the orange in with it. So I'm just going to go right in there. Pull this out a little further. We'll clean it here in a second. You also remember, you don't want dark pencil lines. Dark pencil lines can mix in with your colors and make them look bad. Now I want some straight yellow. So I'm just going to go in here in this space. Just get some straight yellow. Now I'm going to blend them in a little bit more. There. And now I'm going to take a white. Now there are different kinds of, there are different whites, but as you can see, this white has a lot of gunk on it. You can see the black on it right there. I'm going to clean that off. Oh, I just broke the oil pastel. That happens sometimes. Sometimes they break in half. Don't worry about it. See that little mark there? I'm going to try and get rid of that as best I can. Clean it up. Got a little oil pastel there. I'm going to shake this a second. And then I'm going to blend my white with my yellow and make a really pale yellow to the end of this shape. There we go. Oh, you see this gray here? I'm going to zoom in real close so you can see that. That's what happens when you get too dark with your pencil lines. The gray will mix in with your colors. Now, not too bad a color shape. Now, we're going to do one with greens. So, we're going to start again with the yellow. We'll do that. If you're ready to get started and you think you got this figured out, go ahead at this point. Get your colors going. Now, we're going to start with the yellow right here and this shape. Try not to get, oh, we try not to get any orange in there, but, or any red. Uh, we didn't really succeed. That's what you got to be careful of. We're going to go to a different shape because that's not going to work. Now, be careful. Now, learn from my mistakes so you don't have to make them. So, I'm going to grab some yellow, and we'll go in right here. Be real careful on this edge. So we don't want to get any red in with our yellow. Get that in there. Try not to get any graphite in that color. All right, now we're going to go with a light green. Now, you guys all have your color notes. Look at your color notes. Colors that are next to each other on the color wheel usually blend really well. It's the colors that are not next to each other on the wheel that have trouble. Now, what two colors make green? Yellow and what else? Well, you're going to use those two colors in this color combination. Okay, now, because I want these colors to blend together, I'm going to go back and grab my yellow, clean it again, making sure, get the dirt off, Go where they come together, get them to blend, just like that. Now we're going to grab a darker green out of my cup here. Here's my dark green. 
going to clean that right here. Okay. I'm going to add my dark green in. Now, colors you don't want to add together. Don't add blues and oranges. Don't try to get them to blend. You'll just get gray. Don't add uh, reds and greens. They will just go to gray. Don't add yellows and purples. They look good next to each other, but you try to get them to blend, and they don't work out so well. All right, I'm going to do a little cleanup here. This, I'm going to get this closer to my edge. There we go. There's my shape so far. Oops, I need to clean up the back of this shape. Looks a little bit rough. Make it a little neater. Now I'm going to take my light green back into my dark green, light green combination here. Okay, just like that. Now, I'm going to grab a blue. I'm going to grab a light blue. Let me see. No, I don't want a blue. I don't want a blue. I want to color some more with my dark green. Okay. Then I'm going to grab my white. I'm going to add that to my dark green. And I'm going to get this fade. If you look, that's a pretty good blend right there. Now, show you that. Now I'm going to grab my light blue. It's really dirty if you take a look at it. It's pretty funky. I'm going to clean it. We can find that color in there somewhere. I know it. Gotta watch those edges too. They gotta get it cleaned up too. There we go. And a little bit more. There you go. Now, add light blue to my green. Okay. Like that. Then I'm going to take my white, and look at that, it's got that nasty green all over it. Got to clean it up. Oh, broke it off again. Got to be kind of careful. I'm crushing it a little too hard here. And now I want to go back in where my light blue and my light green come together, just like so. Now I'm going to grab a dark blue. This is almost purple. Now I'm going to be kind of careful because purple and green don't usually mix. We're going to put this right on the edge. So that's going to go right in here. All right. This is pretty good. Now I'm going to grab my light blue again, right here, pretty clean. Going to clean it one more time. And I'm going to go right in where the light blue and the dark blue go together. Don't want to press too hard because that can take over the whole color. Don't really want that to happen. Now I'm going to grab my white. Clean this area up just a little bit. And again, I'm going to clean my white. Be sure to share your colors, work together. There you go. Pretty nice drawing. I'm going to shake some of the crumbs off. There we go. Not too bad. Uh, I'm going to go back in with my green real quick and clean up this back part of this green. Just because I don't like the way the spots look. And I kind of went outside the lines there, so we'll just add that right to it so like that and there you have it basically that's how these things work and there's warm colors cool colors and yellow is both pink can also be both you know, but that is my oil pastel drawing for today now some of you will probably work too fast and some of you will work just right 
If you get done with one, go on to another. Now, be careful of your fingers. If you look at my fingertips, they're covered in oil pastels. That can leave fingerprints and smudges on your work if you're not careful. See that? And there, you want to be careful with your fingers. Anyway, that's the end of my video today. Please be good for my sub and have a great time working on oil pastels.